Hey, I'm Craig Ritchie, Game Director on Broken Roads, and from all of us at Drop Bear Bytes, we're really excited to give you a look at what the team have been up to lately. Now, the game has come such a long way in terms of the art quality since we first showed it off in 2019. From character redesigns to polished locations and obviously all of the new interiors that the team have been working so hard on, we're just incredibly proud of the way it's looking and we really want this to be one of the most beautiful RPGs you've ever experienced. The writing is also very close to complete and there are hundreds of moments throughout the game where you'll be able to see the world or the people in it that you've met early on in your journey react to the choices that you've made. Uh, small moments that you may have thought was just a, an insignificant choice can, can really come back in a big way later on. So we're super excited to see how uh, players, you know, what they pick up and what they notice and also the, the different experiences that different players have based on their earlier choices. So we expect Broken Roads to take about 25 hours to complete, but with four origin stories, uh, four moral quadrants and 36,000 possible places on the moral compass, one of the things we're really excited to see is the many ways uh, that the game can be played and replayed based on whatever worldview you want your character to have and the way the moral compass slowly shifts with every moral decision we make. This is a, a new system, we, you know, it's experimental, it's something we're really, really keen to get into players' hands. The reception to it has been really great so far and yeah, we've, we've got some really, really cool moments in store and very keen to see you know, how players will vary from you know, who they are in real life versus the character that they want to roleplay with the scenarios that we've set up. Now, as part of the move from, you know, 2D tile-based art to a fully 3D world that we've got now, we've also updated the combat, moving it from the grid-based format it was when we first showed off the game in 2019 and 2020 to fully free-form movement. So along with that, there's a full UI overhaul. We've got out-of-the-box support for uh, console controls, mouse and keyboard, and yeah, some really new fun enhancements to the AI as well. So we are very keen to see what players do with that. Just like the original Fallout and more recently Disco Elysium, there's ways to talk, puzzle, you know, explore your way through non-violently if you do want to try one of the many pacifist paths through the game. We've also taken multiple trips to Western Australia, added in many real world locations, trying to keep everything authentic. We've taken thousands of reference photographs on our trips there and the art team have done an absolutely fantastic job of bringing these you know, well-known towns, major landmarks and even some lesser known spots uh, that you'll encounter along the way or uncover as you go. We're really looking forward to finally getting the game into players' hands later on this year. But until then, we've got a lot more lined up to show you in the coming months. So please follow us on socials, check out our YouTube, and of course, wishlist Broken Roads on Steam. Thank you.